Hey guys, today is August 7th and I'm in front of Best Buy. I'm about to go in and check out the Dragon Quest stuff they have, um, the maps to download. So I just got out of Best Buy and unfortunately, like I figured, they wouldn't let me film anything. But um, it's all good. I, I was in there for an hour and I had quite the experience. I walked out um, with some goodies that I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to share this experience with you guys because you won't believe it. So the Dragon Quest IX event at Best Buy was rather interesting. I won't call it a disaster because it wasn't that bad, but it sure was an experience. So the Nintendo rep gets set up, he has to go to the store manager and get all of the goodies and the DSi with the game that already has um, the preloaded treasure maps and stuff on it. Alright, this is the unbelievable part. He comes back with a stack of papers. All right, and these papers are instructions on how to basically transfer these treasure maps into other people's games. Basically, the dude has no clue on how to run this event. What's up, Nintendo? I mean, come on, guys. How can you send out a rep for your company that has no clue on how to host this whole event? I mean, he had no clue. It's crazy and there were step-by-step -step directions and he still couldn't get it right. Then he started telling me that the maps weren't on there. So I'm like, oh great, you know what I'm saying? This is so wild, it was so crazy. So to make a long story short, and trust me, it's a long story because I was there for like an hour. Gosh, I had to basically take his DSi XL with the game and everything and put it into tag mode so that not only I could get the treasure maps, but other people, if they walked into that store looking, you know, for this event, they wouldn't be disappointed. So I put it in tag mode for him and he thanked me immensely. Oh, thank you, thank you, you saved me, saved me. <sighs> What's the deal? So I did end up getting the treasure map. Um, unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to play it yet. And I also got his character, his Nintendo character, um, who was like a level 54 minstrel into my game as well. Now, unfortunately, while I was there throughout the whole entire hour, I didn't come in contact with anyone else um, that had dra their Dragon Quest IX game in tag mode. So I wasn't able to tag up with anyone else and switch characters and stuff like that or treasure maps. But hopefully there'll be some more events like this, a little bit more organized, <laughs> where um, I could get some other treasure maps from different Dragon Quest IX players. Besides getting the treasure map and the new character, I did walk away with two things. The first being Dragon Quest IX um, stickers, which I'll never use. But the coolest thing that I got from this whole event and kind of made it worth it, putting up with all the hassle, was this Dragon Quest IX t-shirt. It says, it's party slime. And on the back has a little logo for Dragon Quest IX. I think that's pretty cool. So I just wanted to share this experience with you guys. While the Nintendo representative was very unprofessional and had no clue what he was supposed to do, I did walk away satisfied. I, I walked away with the treasure map I was looking forward to and some goodies to go along with it. But anyway, that's enough Dragon Quest IX talk. I'm going to go and play some more of the game. I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll check you next time.